questions that we ask are interesting to discuss, but they really don't matter in the end. Other questions we ask and explore are worth the effort to discover the truth. One of those questions would be this. What does it mean to be saved? How does one become born again? This is a real question. And don't think that people aren't asking this question today. And in fact, uh, we had someone in our church ask that very honest and transparent question recently. And it was a beautiful opportunity to share the story of hope that Jesus has made a way because of his death, burial, and resurrection. And in fact, uh, I would encourage you, don't feel shameful that you are asking that question. Let me remind you of a person in the Bible who had the courage to ask a very honest question related to this topic. In John chapter 3, Nicodemus came to Jesus in the night and asked him the question, Hey, what does it mean to be born again? He was confused. Now let's let's pause and remind ourselves who Nicodemus was. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, a very religious man, a very well-educated man, a man who had studied uh, the Bible that was assembled up to that point in history. And even with a religious framework and a general understanding of God, uh, Nicodemus had heard directly or indirectly of the preaching of Jesus and the preaching of John the Baptist, and he had some questions. And a really big question was, okay, what does it mean to be born again? Or what does it mean, in other words, to be saved? And how does this happen? You may be asking this question yourself today, or you may have a friend or a loved one who is either asking that question directly or just exploring things about faith and spirituality and they don't even know the words to say yet but they're curious about who God is who is Jesus why does it matter uh, what does it mean to know God maybe they're asking questions that way this past Sunday we took some time to specifically look at the idea of salvation and we addressed the reality of sin and that because of sin in this world and the sin that we are born into, uh, we deserve wrath and judgment. We looked at the substitution that Jesus provided by uh, his rescue mission, God being sending Jesus to earth, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal or everlasting life. And this substitution made it possible for us to essentially be acquitted for our wrongdoing and instead be declared right. The Bible word for that is justified. And I'm not going to re-preach the totality of this past week's sermon, but we did go in great detail through, uh, through the gospel, the reality of our sin, what salvation means, and how we are born again, born of the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. God literally takes someone who is dead in their trespasses and sin, transforms them into a new creation at the soul level to have life, peace, and purpose. And if you find yourself today, or know of someone who finds themselves today, asking questions like, what is the purpose of life? What is the what is the reason I'm even here? What does it mean to be saved? How can I know God? All of these questions there are answers to. And I would love for you to take the time, go to our website, go to our most recent blog post. At the very end, there's a simple link that you could check that will walk you through the story. Or check out last week's sermon to walk you through a biblical explanation of our sin, the substitution that God has made through Jesus, and then the security and the hope and the purpose that we can have today and forever because of what Jesus has done. It's nothing you can earn. It's nothing you have to pay for. It is a free gift for you today. And so if you want to find an answer to that question, we'd love to help you. Check out our website. Reach out to us because it matters. How can you be born again or how can you be saved? by repenting and believing 
repenting of your sin, turning away from your old way, turning to Christ, believing that He is the only way for you to be made right, for you to be forgiven, and for you to have hope, peace, and purpose. Be encouraged today. We love you. We would love to help you explore more truth, to find that hope and peace that can only be discovered in Christ. God bless you, and we hope to hear from you very soon.